there. Today we're discussing signs that you may be settling in your relationship. So we're going to offer you some insights on how to address these feelings. Thanks, and let's get started. One sign you may be settling is a consistent lack of excitement. If you find yourself bored or unenthusiastic about the future, it's important to reflect on whether you're truly fulfilled in the relationship or if you are settling for, for, for familiarity and comfort. Another sign of settling is ignoring compatibility issues. Do you have fundamental differences in values, life goals, or interests? It's crucial to address these concerns rather than dismissing them. Ignoring compatibility issues can lead to long-term resentment and unhappiness. Constantly comparing your relationship to others is a sign that you may be settling. If you find yourself longing for other kinds of experiences or dynamics that other couples have, then it could indicate that you're not fully satisfied with your own partnership. Focus on what you truly desire and deserve rather than settling for less. A lack of deep emotional connection is another sign that you may be settling in your relationship. If you don't feel understood, supported, or truly seen by your partner, then it's important to address these feelings. Emotional intimacy is a vital aspect of a fulfilling relationship, and settling for a lack of a connection can lead to long-term dissatisfaction. One of the clearest signs of settling is when you recognize you're accepting less than what you truly deserve. It's essential to reassess whether this partnership aligns with your long-term happiness and fulfillment. Settling in a relationship can hinder personal growth. If you are feeling like things are stagnating and you're limited in your pursuit of personal goals and aspirations, it could indicate that you're settling for a partnership that doesn't support your individual growth. Constantly feeling unfulfilled is a significant sign that you're settling. If you find yourself longing for more emotional connection, intellectual stimulation, or shared experiences, it shows that there is a perpetual sense of dissatisfaction here that needs to be addressed. If you constantly minimize or rationalize issues, then it's a sign that you may be settling. Ignoring or downplaying significant issues can lead to long-term resentment and unhappiness. A fear of being alone can sometimes lead to settling. If you find yourself in a partnership out of fear of being alone, then uh, it's crucial to reflect on whether you're truly happy and fulfilled in the relationship. Lastly, trust your intuition. If deep down you have a sense that something's off, then uh, you're not fully satisfied in the relationship and things need to be addressed. Remember to always have an open conversation with your partner. Visit datingprofilewriters.com to learn about our proven strategies and personalized guidance to help you with your dating skills. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.